It's Cousin Didi. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. If you could please take one second, like, and subscribe, I really would appreciate it. All right, guys, today, you know, something that I have been thinking about and something that I've really been noticing, you know, living in the South, there's, a, there, there's something that I've really been noticing, you know, and that is I've been starting to notice the influx of people from California that are starting to move into, you know, the southern states. And what's interesting about that is the Californians are moving into the southern states, which is totally against everything they stand for in their politics and their ideology, and, and everything is just 100% different. The men in the south and the men from California are two different males, two different breeds altogether. The thinking is different. Everything is completely different. And when the Californians start coming to the country or start coming to the South, they stick out like a sore thumb. There's a few things that I've noticed when you start seeing these things in your neighborhoods or your, you know, or your, your local grocery stores or you start seeing it on the road, then the Californians have arrived. And the one thing that I really noticed that, you know, that, that really stuck out to me is one day I was going to work and I noticed that there was a person riding a bike on the road, right? It was like I was going to work and I was going down a back road and there was a guy on a bike just riding his bike. And I'm not talking about like a crackhead or a meth head or a fentanyl girl trying to, you know, go get her drugs or, you know, she's riding a bike because she's lost her license and DUIs. I'm talking about the guy on the bike with the gear on, like he's got like the helmet, the tight shirt, the tight spandex pants. It's The shirt has some kind of like, you know, you know, Nike on it or something, you know, like he's in some kind of a race and he's actually riding his bike for exercise, right? Like you see that and you think, oh my God, a, a guy on a bike? That just, it stands out odd to you. Another thing that I started to notice when the Californians move into the South is I started noticing like more man buns. Like you start seeing the men in the area like with man buns and little different scrunchies in their hairs and got... And it sticks out like a sore thumb because in the South, we don't wear man buns. We don't have man buns. We don't own scrunchies, and we don't put our hair up in little tie knots and little ball nuts on our head. We just, we don't do that. You know, it's man, you know the men from the South, we're, we're, we just don't roll that way. And when you start seeing that, you know that California is definitely in your backyard or in your house, you know, you know definitely in your neighborhood. And that something else, like the other day that I saw is I saw a couple – at a store, and she had on her, you know, loose workout top, a real bright yellow, and she had spandex pants on, and, and then he had the same thing. Like, he had not the yellow bright, but he had, like, a pink bright shirt and, like, spandex, and he was with her, like, coming from the gym. I thought, God, guys in the South, man, we don't wear spandex pants, and we don't wear colors like that. You know what I mean? It's like you start seeing more, like, bright pink, bright yellows, really bright colors you know and it's like you start seeing the men in the area wear bright colors and they may have like shorts with a shirt tucked in and just it's just you stick out like a sore thumb because in the south you know we don't wear i think our brightest color that we probably wear is i want to say maybe like a maroon it's probably like one of the lightest colors you know black and blue and uh, dark colors you know and camouflage and greens you know and but not bright pink short you know bright pink shirt and pants tucked in see i mean another thing that i noticed that california's moving is you start seeing guys in small cars like prius and electric cars and little tiny economical cars getting around in to save their little money and conserve the energy and in the south it's just you just don't see it that much i mean we got trucks and cars that are just blow emissions you know out of the neighborhood we don't care about emissions and we got diesels and re-roll coal and you know we got just gas engines and you know old old uh, muscle cars with you know Edelbrock intakes and carburetors and you know that's just how we do it we're not concerned with the the surrounding environment and, and, and getting an electric car to plug in and because where would you even go in the south to find a spot to even plug it in I mean there was just these are just a few things that I've noticed like if you see these things in your area California is infiltrating your house and the crazy thing is California is coming to the country. California is coming to the South with their ideology, coming to a place they love. And they're like, oh, my God, this is a great place. I love it. But they want to vote with their ideas and to try to change it in the same thing they love from. And it's absolutely crazy to me. But, guys, 
you know, it's just a few things I've noticed with uh, the California coming to town, and they stick out like a sore thumb. If you see them, then stay away. It's a bad thing coming. All right, guys, thank you so much for today. Thank you for stopping by. I'm going to let you go enjoy the day.